we can this here and uh, there will be a graph here mm, we can line style line width I want to have a little bit bigger I also want to have it uh, yellow okay let's run it Okay. Yeah, it's absolutely I have to just make some changes. Let, okay. There are a lot of properties that uh, you can change on the graph. Uh, you can play with these properties and uh, actually find your desired setting for the graph. Actually, I don't explain about these, but uh, a little bit just. You can have an auto scale X. I don't want to have auto scale X. Um, for uh, for Y, I definitely don't want. Um, I don't want to have a auto scale X. I remove the check mark for these two. Mm, yeah, I think. Uh, is no need. I just okay. I just changed the name. Okay. The other thing uh, we want uh, in this graph is we want also to show the set point value. Okay, but here uh, we have just uh, one one input. Okay, I remove this. I show you how to have two graphs in one uh, waveform chart. Go to programming. I go to arrays. Then I go to build array because we have to. Build array. Okay, I want to have two graphs. Okay, then I drag it until I have two rows here. Actually, two squares appear here. Okay, one will be the level control. The other one is my set point. All the way down, okay. I, okay, then I connect here from here to here. Okay, there's, okay, there's no way to clean up here, it's uh, somehow a mess. Okay, let me maximize this. Let's see. Mm, okay, it's not so bad. Not so bad. Okay, then here you will have because now uh, actually you have a built array coming into our waveform uh, waveform chart. Uh, chart. Therefore, here I assume. Okay, yeah, plot one. I put set point. I think we better okay. I also I want to change the line with yeah right it's good. I also want to change this set point controller. I want to have a, maybe 
Yeah, I think point, uh, but we have already point as the photo controller. I don't know. Um, okay, maybe something better. Uh, uh, we can something better. Some more modern control. Numeric, is there anything better? No. No, okay, leave it, leave it as it is. If you like, you can change uh, your numeric control to something like a slide bar, your pointer slide, or fill slide, whatever you like. Okay, I'll go on with a numeric controller. Okay, everything is fine. I think everything uh, is... Uh, correctly put in its place uh, run the program okay see the set point is one I change the set point to two I think we can change the properties of when it's work, maybe if I, yeah, we can change the properties of the graph even when the program is running, and you see what happens there. Yeah, actually, it's a good program. You should uh, play with these parameters of the PID controller and see the effect on uh, actually. On the tank level, the, uh, actually, the level of water in the tank, let's say the response of the control system. You should do that definitely. You can learn a lot from that. The, um, actually, I have to add one point. If you have the text or manual, uh, the program I made here is a little different from what we did on this video. Uh, but there is no, uh, in fact, there is no. Uh, let's say a, uh, a fundamental uh, difference everything more and less is the same this uh, part here actually uh, I made it here to actually I put it here to make the program more interesting it just play uh, play a sound a wave sound to produce the palm uh, palm sound but it's not necessary we can ignore it um, anyway we use this also in previous videos in storage fun uh, function I think it's not difficult we, uh, we already talked about uh, about that in that video okay yeah that's it about the tank level control I think it's a very fine program and also useful I hope uh, it was uh, it was also useful for you anyway thank you for watching this video and I hope this video was uh, useful for you <laughs>